After reminding of the previous e uh, relations that we have derived in the previous lecture, now I am going to carry on with parallel plate waveguide. Parallel plate waveguide is nothing but you have only, I mean if you consider this as axis, you have a plate here and a plate here. Now this is a figure of parallel plate waveguide where you have plates, two parallel plates at x is equal to 0 and x is equal to a. Now let, let us put this aside and look at what are the different modes that a parallel plate waveguide can have. You can have transverse electric wave, tra transverse magnetic, transverse electromagnetic. That is in transverse electric you have your par I mean your transverse electric field is zero. It doesn't exist and you have the transverse magnetic field existing. We, we are saying this transverse because we are considering our direction of propagation in z direction. Now your Tm is with transverse magnetic field 0 and transverse electromagnetic is with Ez equal to 0 and Hz equal to 0. I will tell you how to derive Tem relations after deriving Te relations and Tm relations. Now let us consider Te relations. Te is where you have transverse electric field 0. That is, you take the equation del square E equal to minus omega square mu epsilon Ey. Now, this del square can be written as, this is Laplacian operator, del square can be written as dou square by dou x square of some field plus dou square by dou, dou, dou square dou y square of some field by dou square dou z square of some field. Now I have previously said dou by dou z can be written as minus gamma bar. So I get this for dou square by dou z square is minus gamma bar whole square that is gamma bar whole square. Now you have E x equal, I mean dou by dou y is 0. Always in all the further derivations we put this as 0. So the existing terms are dou square E y by dou x square plus gamma bar square E y equal to minus omega square epsilon E epsilon E y. Now you bring this term to left hand side. That is you have a relation gamma bar square plus omega square mu epsilon is written as h square. This relation is very important. It has to be remembered for further derivations. Now you get this equation. Dou square, dou square ey by dou x square plus h square ey equal to 0. Now this is a simple equation from where the solution of which will be this one. The general solution will be Ey equal to C1 sin hx plus C2 cos hx. I have written not because I have a relation Ey is equal to Ey not into E power minus gamma bar z. This is propagation, this, this term is used to indicate the propagation. Now gamma bar can as well be written as alpha plus j beta. Alpha is attenuation and beta is propagation constant. Now you can also write Ey equal to C1 sin hx plus C2 cos hx into E power minus gamma z. But we prefer writing notation Ey naught because you can eliminate writing this term. After deriving the conditions you can put this term. Now, now you up for the general equation you can apply the boundary conditions here. Yeah, for this equation, this is the equation that we have and now for that we apply the boundary conditions. Boundary conditions are, as I previously showed the plates, you have a plate at x equal to a and x equal to 0. Now along the plate, the transverse, I mean the transverse component along this plate that is Ey will be 0 at both the plates that is at x equal to 0 plate and x equal to a plate. 
so these are the boundary conditions we are going to apply to this equation 1 and we are going to derive what the constants are and we are going to derive what are the values now ey is c i mean when you substitute x equal to 0 when you substitute x equal to 0 sin hx that is sin h0 is 0 cos h0 is 1 so you have ey equal to c c1 is already gone and c2 cos h x you have so this equal to 0 so uh, because this can't be 0 c2 has to be 0 so we already evaluated one constant so now the remaining term is this one ey equal to c1 sin hx Into e power minus gamma bar z. Now the second boundary condition is x equal to a. What if we write x equal to a? Now in this equation two, we don't have c two term. Now you substitute e y equal to zero. That is c one sine h a is zero. So now you can't just write c one zero. You can write sine h A zero. You can't write c one zero because if you write c one also zero, the complete equation goes zero. That is, the field doesn't exist. So we assume sine h a equal to zero. If this condition has to be true, a should be. I mean h h should be m pi by a. Now we have this. We have derived. Both all the constants that are left over. That is, we we got that c two is equal to zero, and h is m pi by a. So now you are substituting this in this equation, and you will get this e y not equal to c one sine h m pi by a into x. So sine sorry. Now you you got e y, and you have the all the existing fields of t e r. E z equal to zero. You have to derive E y h x and h z. These are the fields that are existing here. So now, do as I have uh, followed. I mean, as already said in the previous lecture, these I have derived. So now we have to remember all those equations. Do by do x of E y equal to minus j omega mu h z. Now this h z can be written as minus one by j omega mu do e y by do x. So now e y you already know. So put this here. So now h z equal to minus one by j omega mu into do by do x of this c one sine m pi by a into x. So when you de derive that like that, you get the constant c one. And then sine will become cos cos m pi by a into x, and this m pi by a will come out. So you get this equation. H z is minus m pi by j omega mu into a c one cos m pi by a into x. This is the propagation constant. Now you have a relation h. Uh, you have uh, derived this. Relation previously, h x is minus gamma bar by h h square into do h z by do x. If you remember, there is one more term in the previous derivation that has become zero. That that is a term in e z because e z is zero in this particular derivation. You don't have that term here. So h x is equal to minus gamma bar by h h square. Do h z by h uh, do x, so h x is equal to minus gamma bar by j omega mu c one sine m pi by a x into e power minus gamma bar z. Now we have completed the T E mode. Similarly, now we have to derive relations for T M mode. T M mode is you have transverse magnetic. Field is zero. That is, h z is equal to zero. 
Now the existing fields are you have E Z, E X. The existing fields are E Z, E X, H Y. Now previously you have written sometime before this I have told that do, uh, I mean before uh, for deriving the T E we have taken del square E equal to minus omega mu epsilon something. So now this is T M. So magnetic field replaces electric field here. So you write do square H equal to minus omega square mu epsilon H Z. So now you write H. I mean similarly. Now H, this uh, del square H as as said before you can write it as del square I mean dou square uh, by dou x square of something plus dou by dou y square of something plus dou square by dou z square of something. This is 0 and this is minus gamma. So you get this equation dou square h y by dou x square plus h square h y equal to 0. So you can write the solution of h y here as said before h y is equal to this one c 3 sin h x plus c 4 cos h x because uh, in the previous case because e z is equal to 0 and you have an equation in terms of E and so you could apply the boundary condition that transverse electric field is 0 at a boundary but here you have the H V so you have to get the E field from this H field so you, the best way is deriving I mean you have a relation this relation you have E Z equal to 1 by J omega epsilon dou H Y by dou X so you can substitute your h y equation here and get e z that is h by j omega epsilon c 3 cos h x minus c 4 sin h x into this is as usual. Now you, you can apply the boundary condition as previously only e z equal to 0 at x is equal to 0 and x is equal to a these are the places where we have our waveguide plates. Now after substituting you get the same same equations. Previously I showed how to solve them. The only thing you have to remember here is the derivation of Tm is very much similar to Te except that here we are getting a directly an E field but here we are getting an H, we are getting a H field and so we are expressing this H in terms of E so that we can apply our boundary conditions. So these both are similar. After you get a particular equation in E, then you again use the relations that were previously derived in previous lecture and you obtain all the other fields that are existing. Beside each thing I have written what fields exist. So all those fields you can derive. Now coming to TEM. TEM you don't have a special derivation. You can just use, you can just put M equal to 0 in the TM waves. So you get on here you don't have HZ field, you don't have EZ field because this is TEM that is transverse electromagnetic wave. That is you don't have a transverse electric wave, you don't have a transverse magnetic wave. That is EZ equal to 0, HZ equal to 0.